We will now see how to create a blockchain in Microsoft Azure. So that was the splash screen. We can click on the logo to get into the Azure main page. So azure.microsoft.com and let's sign in. So I will assume you already have an account. Good. So this is the main page. Let's see what are the products. So blockchain and here's blockchain workbench. Get started. So if we read the description here, we can see that uh, Azure will start for us many things that we need and many things that we don't need, but will lock us to Azure, uh, but that's fine for now. Let's see what happens next. Get it now and continue. So they have a tour. Let's see what they have for us. Create a resource, browse, favorites, so all those are standard Azure components and nothing blockchain related and we are done. So somehow it seems that they like a lot this page so they give it to us one more time. We click create, create a free account, start free and this brings us back in that banner page where they collect all the interesting data from us, they want to validate our phone. And of course, they want a credit card. Can't blame them, everybody wants my credit card, so they want it too. All their competitors want it as well, so we are done. Yes, I agree you to charge me and use my data. So now I'm ready, I guess I have to close this tab. And if I refresh this page, I should now see something different. Okay, more marketing material. Let's click create a new resource. Azure Blockchain Workbench. Again, their favorite page. Create. And again, create a free account. So let me log out and re-log in. Okay, much better. Okay, so now we get into the forums part, so resource prefix, so LVM, why not? VM username, LVM, password, okay, one LVM at, one LVM at, one LVM at, great, so if I type the same thing, four times, it makes me feel so secure, this is great, everything is very formal, fantastic, it reminds me of my bank account, they are becoming the new bank after all, ok, resource group, drop down, empty, of course create new, LVM, awesome, it seems like it started raining, in a typical Microsoft manner, there is no progress bar. So I'm supposed to sit here and do exactly what? Start clicking something? Oh, bad idea. Okay, so let's do it one more time. Create. Now it will be faster. Wow, they didn't even create that one. Okay, let's see. Oh, now I did something different. That's great. I guess this is LVM, application ID. What about this? LVM.LVM.com, okay. Application ID, LVM. Application key, LVM. Whatever. Okay, so third form, all about Azure, nothing about blockchain. And here is some blockchain. Blockchain network, create new or use existing. Okay, new, validation nodes 2, standard, okay, this was easy. Workbench, ledger, Azure monitor, okay, and about half a minute later, okay, so I press OK, and another texty form, and create. So we have deployment in progress, I started the stopwatch. But they also give us the time here. Okay, that's good. 
Great, so at 6 minutes and 42 seconds uh, it is ready and created. In the meanwhile we had some time to go and see their supply chain app. So effectively what they say is that devices create messages here, they go to a hub, then those messages go to a service bus, which is a, a something like a queue, then those messages are received by consumers, which I guess are server-side applications, and they go to storage or structured databases. At the same time you have monitoring, okay, and uh, then you have one of those consumers to be the transaction builder and signer. And at last, here at the end, here is some blockchain, so I guess in this case it will be just Ethereum. And then there is an event watcher that I guess feeds events back to those IoT devices and also sends them into an event grid. So what we would ideally want to do is to skip all of those things and then you have an IoT device that signs stuff, sends it directly to Ethereum and also at the same time this is implemented into the IoT device and it sends events back to the device. So this is assuming you have clever enough devices, so not just barcode scanners, but something like a typical smartphone. And all the access control can be in here, uh, just in the Ethereum blockchain. So the mobile phone creates a public key, somebody registers it as authorized uh, in the blockchain, and then it can publish events directly and subscribe and receive events as well. I think this would be a much more clean, decentralized application, again, in the case of IoT. So I was kind of wrong. Uh, just one step seems to have been completed. We have another step that is still ongoing, LVMM1 app builder. So in the meanwhile, I just go around and uh, see. And here in the All the Resources tab, <laughs> it seems like all those are necessary to build a small blockchain application or something. So we need load balancers, log analytics, one public IP address, a few SQL servers and databases, a virtual network of course, a key vault, storage account. I guess the underlying assumption is that if you need a blockchain, you are so big that you really want to use any product they have. So it's now 25 minutes and it is kind of weird because this seems like being created but not okay yet. I'm not sure what this is doing. So it runs on 25% CPU and it's still running. So I guess it does something. Lots of disk writes. Who knows? Create or update virtual machine. Oh wait! Deployment succeeded! So, it takes about half an hour, but we have everything we need. Ok, now I feel like a real enterprise. So, what's next? So, by clicking here, we end up with this. This looks good, so... App Services... Ok, so here are some websites we can visit that we're running. Let's try the second one as well. Sorry, but we are having trouble signing you in. Ok, and the uh, Swagger API. So I would guess the API worked, but the normal workbench thingy didn't work. And now I have to have a subscription administrator, of course, because I'm such an enterprise. And I have to plan for getting support. Ok, I plan to get my own support. Let me refresh this page. Nope, it doesn't seem to work. I mean, ok, I googled this a little bit, I found some stuff. Uh, but... The point is that it's anyway not what I was looking for here. I'm not looking for using every single product Azure has with the excuse of building a blockchain solution. So certainly this is not what it was to, supposed to be. I will try the plain Ethereum in the next video. I hope you learned something and see you there.